All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit more uh, here about sheet sets and the uh, the plotting of, of a sheet set. So you can see, and uh, we have Civil 3D uh, open, and inside of Civil 3D, we've opened up a sheet set. Notice that we only have one drawing currently open. Uh, the sheet set is actually closed. So if I want to plot this entire set of documents, you can see that I've got uh, a whole bunch of different cross section pages. Uh, I've got my quantity takeoff tables, joint tables. I want to plot this entire sheet set. So if I right click on the, the main sheet set name and I go to publish, I'm going to, uh, I could go ahead right, right here and just say uh, publish to plotter. So this would then send the entire sheet set to the plotter. However, what plotter it goes to will depend on what layout tabs are and how the layout tabs are set up in that particular drawing. So let's say, for example, let's go ahead and open up the, uh, the site plan here. And when we open up the site plan, let's take a look at the default settings for the layout tab. So again, if I go in and plot this, it's gonna go to whatever default setting uh, this tab is set to. So we'll go ahead and close, or just close that uh, bubble here. Give this a second to load. Go down and take a look at the page setup. So I'm gonna right click on the layout tab. I'm gonna to go to the page setup manager and we'll go into the modify for this C1 site plan. And take a look at it and you can see that the plotter is actually set to none. Uh, that's actually because this drawing cannot find the plotter that this needs to go to. The actual location where these drawings are gonna be plotted at uh, is not on my network, it's not in my system, it's on somebody else's. So um, they have to come in here and, and, and they would have to set up this plotter because my network can't find that plotter. But really what's gonna happen is this, this page is already set up or this plotter, um, this page is already set up to go to a plotter at that location. So what if they want to print to a, an 8.5 by 11 or 11 by 17? Or, in this case, and this is really what I want to explain to you in the next few minutes, is that if I'm working on a design here and I have to send these drawings to another uh, company or maybe it's going to another unit, and again, they don't have my plotters, they don't have my styles or my settings, how are they going to plot these drawings using the, using the sheet set? All right, well, if we take a look at the sheet set. So let's go back and I'm gonna close, let's go ahead and close this drawing here just so you know I don't have to have it open. And um, so when I close the drawing and I go back and I look at the sheet set, I do have to open up, have a drawing available. So I'm just gonna create a new one here, just a blank drawing. And we right click on the properties and, or I'm sorry, and go to, to publish again. Notice how I have this, this publish using page setup overrides. And notice when you look at that, it's got 11 by 17, eight and a half by 11, A1, Dwyer plotter, and PDF. Well, the Dwyer plotter is the other company that I need to send this drawing to that needs to plot these drawings. So how, how can they get that override in their, well, first of all, how they get override set up, but also how do they get that override in for their sheet set? Because I don't have access to their plotter, we also don't want to have them have to go into every single drawing and change the plotter uh, for that page or, or modify the page setups. So an easy fix or an easy solution is to modify the what's called the template or the template that's, using, that's being used for the page setup overrides. So let's go, I'm going to right click on this again, I'm going to go to properties and take a look at the properties here of the sheet set. In the properties of the sheet set, you'll see that we have this, this path that it's looking to a path and a particular drawing template for the page setup overrides. So all we really have to do is again, let's say I'm gonna send this to now um, uh, another base or another company or another unit. Um, what I can do is that unit will have the access, hopefully they have the access to the same drawing settings or they have a drawing template. So let's open up and what they're gonna do is, uh, let's open up this drawing template. So if I open up this drawing template and I look at the layout tab, again, this drawing template is what was used to create the sheets, but it's also the one being used to create the page setup overrides. So if I look at the layout tabs page setup manager, by going to the page setup, notice how I have now 
those extra page setups, page eight and a half by 11, 11 by 17, Dwyer plotter, PDF. So all they have to do is come in here and what they'll do is they'll create a new, uh, a new page setup. So these are the page setup overrides that are accessible via the sheet set manager. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm just going to start with a new one. Let's call it, um, uh, we'll call it the, uh, let's say the, the, the New York City office has to plot, you know, has to plot the sheet set when I send it up to them. But again, they have their plotters, which are not my plotters. So I'm gonna click okay here. And so now I'm at the, let's say the New York City office and they're gonna plot to this particular uh, plotter and let's just go let's say i'll go ahead and i'll pick i'll pick this particular plotter here and it, it'll find that plotter i'll set up my page or printer my page setup uh, all the other parameters what what pen table i want to use what scale i want this to plot at and then i'll just go ahead and, and click ok and now i've added that page setup to that particular drawing template so now when i close and save this drawing so I've, I've modified that drawing template, and now what I can do is I'll, kind of I'll come back in here, I'll go to properties, and I'm just gonna re reassociate this, this path. Now if I close the sheet set and reopen it, it'll uh, automatically take, take care of this for me, but because I still have the sheet set open, this is one way to do it. So now you'll see that when I right click on a sheet set and I go to publish, and I go to publish to page override, there's that New York City office plotter. So now I can plot this. I don't have to open up any drawings. It's gonna plot all 26, 30 drawings that are here to the plotter that I set up for the page setup override. That will save you a tremendous amount of time when trying to work on these projects and these plans and then have to give them to another company, another unit, another office, whatever it happens to be. You can also, you don't have to plot the entire set this will also work on an individual individual drawing. So if I go to site plan and I go to, uh, I wanna publish that, I can also go to the page setup overrides and I can plot just that one drawing or I could plot the entire subset. So I can go to publish, publish here and plot again, publish to that particular plotter. So you can see how powerful, if you saw some of the other videos, we have a plan production VBook that talks about how to set up plans how to set up your drawing templates, how to set up all of this to work so that you can take advantage of the sheet set manager. Whether you're working as an individual or you're working as a team, you're working on a small project that's maybe only three or four pages, or you're working on a huge project that is uh, you know, 36, 70 pages, 100 pages, whatever, the sheet set manager is a very powerful tool for putting plans together. Um, like I said, even if it's once it's set up and all your styles and everything are set up, Again, you can use it on a, a single sheet drawing, a, a uh, multiple sheet drawing, two sheet drawing or set, or a, like I said, a hundred, a hundred uh, sheet plan set. So very powerful, the sheet set manager. If you haven't really, really focused on it, I, I, I know people say, oh, we're all set. We use a, an extra title block. Really, I recommend taking a look at the sheet set manager. It's, it's pretty powerful. Uh, thank you.